My dear friends, my name is Jacob Fiveash, and welcome to Uncaged Zoo Tours. If you are new to the channel and love animals, I recommend and appreciate hitting the like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to join me on my tours. Today, we're heading back to SeaWorld San Diego for another tour. We went to three exhibits, Wild Arctic, Orca Encounter, and Penguin Encounter. Now our fourth tour will showcase not one, but two exhibits, Turtle Reef and Shark Encounter. We'll learn about some very misunderstood sharks and peaceful sea turtles. Who's ready to take the plunge? Starting with Turtle Reef, it is home to a lot of tropical fish, like this Emperor Red Snapper. But there are also three different species of sea turtles, Hawksbill, Green, and Loggerhead. Out of the three turtle species in this exhibit, the Hawksbill is the smallest, but the largest is the Green Sea Turtle. However, the world's largest sea turtle is the Leatherback Sea Turtle, which is up to six feet long. Even though all seven look different, they have a few things in common, like their life cycle. When a mother sea turtle migrates to the same beach she hatched from, she will dig a hole in the ground and lay up to 125 eggs at a time. Afterwards, she heads back to the ocean and never sees her babies again. If the temperature of the sand is cold, all the turtle hatchlings will be boys, but if it's warmer, they will be girls. Sometimes, if the temperature is just right, the hatchlings will be both male and female. 45 to 70 days later, the hatchlings crawl out of the nest to the ocean, but they must avoid getting eaten by seagulls, herons, and egrets. The birds are the least of their problems when the turtles reach the ocean, because now they have to find food and avoid more predators like crabs and sharks. For the next 25 years, Sea turtles must also avoid eating plastic because it's bad for their health. They can even get entangled in fishing nets. Because of all the terrible danger, only 1 in 1,000 turtle hatchlings will reach adulthood. When a turtle is fully grown, they will eat seagrass and algae before returning to the same beach to start digging a nest. Sea turtles are peaceful, but sharks are one of my favorite animals. Besides, it's time to head to Shark Encounter. This exhibit has several kinds of sharks, like nurse sharks, sand tiger sharks, white-tipped reef sharks, and even zebra sharks. Some sharks have electroreceptors on their heads called ampullae of Lorenzi. It's their sixth sense and consists of skin pores with a jelly-like substance. The pores connect to receptor cells, which help the shark detect weak electrical signals from other animals. When a shark opens its jaw to bite, a muscle slides a third eyelid across their eyes, which is called a nictating membrane. These membranes act like contact lenses to protect the shark's eyes. But there's a problem. The shark can't see when it attacks. Unlike us, sharks don't have bones because their skeleton is made of cartilage, and they don't have taste buds either. While some sharks, like zebra sharks, lay eggs, others, like sand tiger sharks and great white sharks, give birth to live young like mammals do. Some sharks even give birth to their pups in a fish nursery. Shark pups must worry about being eaten by bigger sharks, but once they reach adulthood, they worry about us humans trying to eat them. A shark's teeth don't even get cavities because it's covered in fluoride a chemical that helps strengthen our teeth. Even though sharks make sounds in movies, sharks in real life don't have vocal cords. I think Shark Encounter deserves a little more attention, because it's not common to see sharks from above the water. If you want to learn more about sharks, please refer to my Sharks Predators of the Deep tour to learn more about them. And with that, our short little ocean adventure comes to an end. But we're still not done yet. When we return to SeaWorld San Diego, we'll do another two-in-one tour, but this time of the Sea Lion Point and Dolphin Adventures. We'll see sea lions and even witness the long-awaited return of the bottlenose dolphin. 
We'll even see a dolphin show. Today's question is, have you ever encountered a sea turtle or shark in the ocean? Thank you for watching my videos, and I'll see you next time. You're smart, creative, and kind.